Hello everybody, it is Krebbers or The Collector's Corner. I am back with another doll review. Today we have a Mattel Creations Scollector doll review. Today we have the creature from the Black, Black Lagoon. Finally came across this doll on eBay. Unfortunately, I had to purchase her on eBay from a scalper because the, the sale for the members happened and sold out within two minutes and then the public sale sold out within milliseconds or a minute also it, it felt like a millisecond because of how quickly it just you go through the process of checking out and then you just wait 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 nope sold out so that's what happened to me i really was skeptical about this doll at first when i I do like the creature from the Black Lagoon. It's just not one of my go-to favorites. So when I heard that this was going to be an actual doll, I had to wait to see the stock photos and I fell in love, truly. I love the glossy on the matte box. I am very obsessed. We have this beautiful display on the side of her. On the back, we have the creature's claw with the skelet on the, in the water there. It's so beautiful. I also do love that they changed the box design too. So to open her, normally it would be a flap or two flaps, um, but we are going to be just ripping her to shreds and pulling her apart. Oh my gosh. Wow. So you get kind of like a little, um, it's almost like an accordion, but I like it. I, I will be keeping her in the box, unfortunately, but it's, it's new. It's different. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness gracious, look at her. Love the sculpt for the head. I love the sculpt for the, the fins everywhere. And the the, tr the ruffle trimming that they use for the actual drape all over the, the doll's body. Love the execution so much. On the back of the box it reads, Creature from the Black Lagoon doll. This may be the most exciting moment since arriving at the Black Lagoon, our group of scientists had yet to unlock any secrets of the de deviant fossil in our possession and questions abound, abounded. Is this the bridge between man and land animal? Does this piscine, uh, big words, amph amphibious humanoid really exist? What lies in the mysterious depths of the lagoon? I thought we may never get our answers until the ominous ripple in the water, a flash of green, and there it was, the legend in a killer swimsuit and harpoon heels. Surely my eyes deceived me. I drew closer. The moonlight glided across the shimmery scales and green gills as it locked eyes with me. A trespasser on its land, before I could gasp, it slipped back into the murky water, taking its secrets deep below. If it's what I think I saw, it's the great, the greatest find yet. The creature from the Black Lagoon. Man, there are some big words in that intro. So I'm going to be taking off the, the dust protector so I can show you guys what she actually looks like because you deserve to see her without the glare. Slides right out, but I'm being very cautious and very protective of... Okay, there we go. Here we have the creature up close. Wow. I love the, the, the harness chest piece that is also the body piece. Doesn't, doesn't clip or anything in the back. It just kind of clip, just hugs her. Love the trimming on the shoulders here. Love the webbed finger mold. I just, so one of a kind, this piece with the, the fins everywhere. Love the trimming. I love this ruffled material everywhere on her outfit. It's just so iconic and so one of a kind. I love these, I love collectors because they are truly one of a kind pieces. I love the face mold. Her lips are a bright orange. She has little yellow dots underneath her bottom lashes. Her eyes are green and orange. The under and upper lid eyeshadow is a pastel pink with a tiny bit of yellow screens and a turquoise. Just love, love this doll. Wow. And she does come with a stand here. Kind of clips, kind of like hold, hugs her leg, I guess. Wow, look at those shoes. The harpoon heels, oh my 
goodness. So creative, you guys. I'm just noticing this now. There is somebody swimming in the water up here. It's hard to see, but creature's gonna get you. I also love this little like thin headband that she has going on here. Love the details. Love the color of her skin. The shimmer is so beautiful. The makeup though. I love the fins on her, like right here. The mold is so pretty. Her hair is a mixture of uh, neon lime green and a dark emerald almost green. And her hair is pretty long. There's a bunch of skelettes in this background. We have one here. We have one in bubbles. We have one here at the bottom of the sand. We also have another one on the weight. I mean, actually they all have it. But I just love the hidden skelet uh, skelettes everywhere. Even her stand is very detailed. We have an anchor, we have a skull, we have some dead fish, skeletons. I just, the details you guys put into this piece. I thank you so much, Mattel Creations, for doing this. Especially horror icons, because I believe truly that, uh, I just, I love horror so much. I'm wearing Friday the 13th, Hellraiser, like, I love horror. I love that Monster High and Mattel has been creating such beautiful pieces to these iconic horror movies because horror movies don't get any props. They don't get any category in any award show. They don't like it's just it's a category that no one pays attention to in the famous world. It's unfortunate that beautiful, um, creative, astonishing movies don't get that a, a, a appreciation that they deserve for Monster High and Mattel Creations to bring to life these characters. I I thank you so much, Mattel. I I really know, and I true I truly know, you guys have the capability of putting a beautiful spot on details and quality control into your dolls again. Because back in two thousand three, four, and five, there the 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 Playline dolls, the details were so astonishing and now it's just it's just printed on, it's the cheapest looking materials, it's not it's not what it used to be. So for Mattel Creations and Monster High to make icons from horror movies into dolls, that that's just a game changer and especially for adult collectors um, unfortunately, scalpers and the robot um, bidders or purchasers that they literally use softwares that are bots and they automatically already win and pay for the collectors on Mattel Creations websites. And that is why no one can actually get one. The only one I was successfully able to get was the Beetlejuice and Lydia one. I am so ecstatic about this doll. I love the details. I love the quality. I love the materials that they used. And just to to create such an iconic character in doll form, yes please. What are your thoughts on the Mattel Creations Creature from the Black Lagoon? What are your thoughts on Mattel Creations and Monster High creating horror characters and bringing them to life in a doll form? What are your thoughts on the new style of box? Do you guys have this doll? Were you guys lucky enough to grab her? Or did you guys have to buy one from the scalper like I did? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.